What's a one-word description of IB? Genuine. Stressful. Rewarding. Insomnia. Crazy. Savage. Interesting. Encompassing. Life-changing. Intense. <laughs> Chaotic. Worthwhile. Rad. Necessary. All-consuming. Adventurous. Exhausting. <laughs> Melancholy. No, I really think it's an experience that can't be really summed up in one word. It's four years. It's a lot. What does IB mean to you? It's more than just the education program. It's IB, I would say family. It's a lot of hard work and dedication. International baccalaureate. Bacala. What's the word? Well, I look at it as a door opener. A lot of work with a lot of sex and death. A lifestyle, a choice. You feel like you really know something. Um, losing your hair, sleep deprivation, losing your sleep. Like a community to grow with people over four years. Craziness, um, lack of eating. Um, everyone brings something different to the table. Fair bit of frustration. Um, a way to better myself. It's just like family and we just go through the tough things and we'll always make it together. Pretty much accept anyone because we're so different. Big family. Uh, everybody's pretty much we're trapped in the same classes. Growing and becoming a better person. IB is home. It's a bunch of different mismatched characters that somehow end up being a family. It's everything that you go through in high school all in one. What is one of your happiest memories? I have a lot of happy memories. There's, there's a ton. I have a lot of happy memories. Okay, my happiest memory was when we were all turning in our EEs one by one and we started clapping for each other and it was a milestone. Probably EE fun day. Everyone all together, not at school. We got to eat good food and we just got to celebrate. Probably when I did a proposal to my girlfriend uh, during junior year and so forth. It was a lot of fun and I loved to dance and seeing the look on her face was probably the best thing in the world. So. The time me and Caitlin got Marcus and Shiloh to kiss. Can't really sum it down into one moment because there's been so many. Yeah, my happiest memories are with my friends. Probably every memory that involves my closest friends. Probably E Fun Day because that was a lot of fun because we all just kind of got to be kids because we're forced to grow up in this program. So turning in my EE, I think. Oh, and then finishing like all our film stuff and the time whenever we all sang as a big group, and I just, I love that. What's something weird you've learned about one of your teachers? Um, I don't find anything weird anymore because nothing that these people do surprises me anymore. Mr. Creamer told us that Beyonce was hot. Like, did someone say like the story about like Miss Steele wanting to stab her? Like, she said that she would stab herself to bring the dinosaurs back. Like, she would sacrifice her life for that. And I thought that was kind of crazy. When Mr. Brown almost killed that dog. Also Miss Frazier because I feel like she was like savage like me back in the day. Mr. Brown's taste in girls. Miss Rutland is a really big softie at heart. Uh, love you, Miss Rutland. Mr. Brown, he's like obsessed with squirrels. I think that Mr. Creamer has an odd obsession with coffee. I don't know why, but the squirrel thing with Mr. Brown always got me because he said, like, he just wants to shoot all the squirrels. What are you going to miss the least? The work. <laughs> <laughs> work. The work. The work. Reflective statements. My god. I'm, I'm not going to miss reflections. We reflect everything. I think we get it at this point. Okay. IAs. Dealing with all the nonsense bureaucracy that comes with IPs and IAs and I whatever the heck they're calling them now. Oh, pretty much, I like it here. <laughs> Having to wait all day to go to the bathroom at home. What will you miss the most? The times that we spend just being around each other and just talking and laughing about everything. Those spontaneous moments that we would have just about every day. Uh, Mr. Creamer quoting, like every other sentence, he would just drop in some quotes. And I've never met anybody who could quote as much. And you can quote me on that. And so I think I'll miss the structure. Miss the most, definitely the friends and the faces that I've come to know. Uh, my friends, moving eight hours away is gonna be really tough. All my friends, because a lot of them are gonna be moving. The environment, and especially the people. A lot of the friendships I've had for a long time, you. I'd say the pep rallies. Pet rallies were pretty amazing. Just seeing everybody every day. Good bit of the people who aren't gonna stay, that they're gonna go straight off to college. Moments where something really funny happens and you just like, 
laugh a lot. The closeness. And also I miss all the people that I met through IB. Being close with other people, I'm gonna probably miss that. Probably the people here. It's, it's been nice working with people people, being in school with them, friends with them. The people and the memories that we've created. All the love that the teachers show, not just to me, but to everybody else around me. I'm going to miss the most in Spanish class when Henry is sniffling, because whenever we take a test, he's always like <laughs> And it's like soothing, so I'll probably have to have him record it for me. I guess the sense of community. Experiences and the late nights, staying up, doing homework together. Going out for lunch. Um, I'm going to miss being around a group of like dynamic people with like powerful personalities and yeah. I'm going to miss the familiarity of each and every one of us, you know, having that sort of support system for each other. I already missed chicken day. I think the teachers influence on us every day and as, me especially, like teachers are great. <laughs> My classmates. I'm going to miss the Ivy office and Ms. Brogan the most. All the friends that have become family. Just hanging out after school, seeing everybody goof off. It's just nice. Just like the daily routine or whatever. I'm gonna miss a sense of loyalty that exists among everyone in IB, that no matter if it's a happy time or a sad time, we all manage to stick together. I'm gonna miss everything. Who's made the greatest impact on you? Miss Morris has probably made the most impact on my life because of how free she is every single day. My mom. It's really inspiring to see her go, like, be like t a team mom and go to work and do all these things for me. And, like, her handling it all at once is really inspiring. I want to see my friends because, like, they're always there for me. My mom has always been that one point that I could, one person the, that holds me down and makes sure and lets me know that I can do this, that I can make through this, and that I'm going to be the best that I can be, and that I'm going to do the best that I can do. Definitely be my mom, because if it wasn't her for her, I know I wouldn't be here. Uh, Michael Brown, because he's helped me from soccer and football. I love him to death, and then definitely, last but not least, my little shawty Bree, you know. <laughs> She kept me a check senior year. All the IB faculty in a whole has made a very big impact. Definitely have to be Miss Brown. She's really kind of the one that will really stick her neck out for you. I like Jackie Chan. <laughs> Probably Miss Retland because she's a character and she's just very nice and I feel like she's very genuine in everything that she says. And I know I called her a printer, but she actually made me like English because I usually really hate English and reading. She's always there for us, no matter what we need. I've become more confident in my writing. She tries to act like she's super tough, but she is a sweetheart and she is very understanding. Probably Miss Rutland because she was there when I needed her. Probably in like my darkest hour, she was there and it was awesome. Being surrounded by these people for so long and all the things that we've done together made me like realize, like made me like really discover myself. Probably the one teacher who made the greatest impact in my life would be Mr. Creamer, because even though we have conflicting um, ideologies and beliefs about certain things, he um, has always pushed me. And also Ms. Brogan, who helps keep everybody in, in line and know what's going on around campus. Uh, Tyson has made the biggest impact on me. You always gotta have somebody that pushes you to do better. Um, she didn't let me give up, so yeah. He looks after me and stuff, and like we talk about everything, and like we know I have like a bunch of sisters, but I never had like a brother, and then I came here, and now I have one. Oh God. Okay, next question. <laughs> Both Miss Brown and Miss Rutland have made a really big impact in my life in the last two years, and Miss Bland last year as well. I'm gonna go Devin and Anthony. I would say Miss Boutwell. She really taught me to be whatever I wanted to be and forget the rest. Miss Smith, definitely, because she showed me that the impossible, like learning Spanish, is actually possible. You know, you have your parents, they're always got your back, and you have your teachers who are lifting you up, and you have your friends that are walking every step with you. I just want to say thank you to everyone who was a part of this Ivy family for these last four years. <laughs>
running all over campus, wreaking havoc, and hanging out in the IB office. Today, as I look at each of you, all I see are amazing young men and women who are truly ready to embark on the next phase of what will surely be wonderful and exciting lives. <clears throat> and as happy as I am for each of you, I am also sad to see you go. To say that you will be missed is an understatement. Um, when it comes to the class of 2015, I have such wonderful memories. Um, but perhaps the thing that stands out in my mind the most about you as a class is that you have fully embraced and embody what we know the IB family to be. And I know that there are people who think, or people who don't understand our commitment to each other and our love for one another. And they probably think the IB family is a little corny or maybe weird. But what I know is this, family does not depend upon blood. It's the people who are in our lives and who want us in theirs. It's the people who will do anything to make us smile and who will love us no matter what. So as you prepare to leave, know that we are family and always will be and know that you are loved. And as Anthony Brandt once said, other things may change us, but we begin and we end with family. <laughs>